Modern Art Blitz. Welcome to Modern Art Blitz. I'm your host, Matt Gleason. I have, as a guest right now, an LA, maybe perhaps a United States, maybe perhaps internationally legend, Joe Biza. Joe, welcome. You. Welcome to Modern Art Blitz. Oh, my, it's my, oh, Joe's pack. Joe's, let's check your microphone. Uh, hey. I'm getting the microphone, uh, the microphone lecture here. Where'd it go? Oh, it's, it's too deep in your pocket. Oh, okay, hold on. There, there we go. There we go, oh, here, here. It's red. There we go, okay. Just leave it there on the floor. All right, there we go. Ah. All right, so Joe, in addition to being a, 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 a guitar legend, can I call you a guitar legend? If you want, you can if, do if, if I, Well, I want to, gonna... I want to. Okay. Um, in addition to being a guitar legend, you are also a, an artist. Now, I was gonna call you a fine artist. Uh, are you a fine artist? Do you consider yourself a fine artist? <laughs> Yeah. Or do you want art history to just judge you on that? <laughs> yes, I would say that, yeah. Okay. Well, let's tell but us what's... outside, it's way and, out there somewhere, are, yeah. And you're, are you, are you self-taught? Yeah. No art school? Well, I had a little art training. Really? So Who trained you? Uh, I had, I went to a community college. Which one? Uh, Harbor College in Wilmington. Oh, Harbor, oh, man. I was in Wilmington. That's Jay McCafferty? Good. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was a great, he's a great guy, yeah. great artist. I heard he was a great teacher. I, I never had him as a teacher. I knew him as an artist, yeah, but yeah. I heard he was a great teacher. I remember that, yeah. yeah. So, um, well, let's look at, what, what did you bring here for us to look at today? Well, that's, that's painted on a piece of wood I found in the yard. It has these kind of, these oily stains in the back on, on it. So the wood stains were already there? Yeah, and I kept seeing it as I was walking through the yard, you know. It, it looked like strange silhouettes to me. And I, I wanted to do something with it, and at some point the neighbor was using it to stop the dog from jumping the fence. So then I took took, took it over and you took I, you. So did I said, dog, "Oh no, it's my wood." Did, did the know? dog jump the fence after you took it? I think so. Uh -oh. yeah, well, <laughs> they say the dog's gone now, so it's my fault. Anyway, <laughs> but so yeah, then I. Is this a recent piece? Yeah, I just did that for uh, this thing at Cornelius Projects. Oh, the um, the, the the desert show. Right, exactly. Wow, yeah. how 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 was uh, down in San Pedro? Yeah, that was interesting. How, how was showing in that show? It was cool, yeah. Now, now there were a lot of things there. You were in a band that actually played in the desert? Uh, right, on the, yeah. on the <clears throat> well, I played with the Minuteman, one of the first, I think it may have been the first one, I don't remember now. but Okay, in the, in the 1983. Yeah. But the Minutemen, I thought they were only a duo. No, a trio. A trio. Yeah. yeah. And you, you were... Uh, well, they had me sing. They had you as, they made it a four Yeah, piece. right, yeah, just for a couple songs, so then I did that, and... Uh, Went to a couple of others, and we did one, um, one of the last ones he organized, Stuart Sweezy organized at some warehouse in downtown, I forget. What now. band were you in with that one? With Saccharin. Saccharin Trust. Yeah, it was with Sonic Youth, and um, I forget who else, oh, damn it. I, you know, yeah. it, what's great, Joe, is, is in, an, Just in, don't a, remember. in an industry where everybody is a name dropper, You've you've forgotten more names. You could you could drop so many names and you've forgotten. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's, that's, a, that's a that's a feather in your cap. Oh, let, the swans. Let, oh, I the just sw remembered oh, swans. Okay, yeah. that that's a that's don't, right. don't forget a, that one. <laughs> it was a cool show though. Anyway. Okay, so let's let's move on because you got uh, we you brought a lot of art and I want to I want to make sure people see it because you're known for your guitar. I don't think it, it's it's you know you're known as guitarist, but you know as an artist, who's this? That's me. Self portrait. Yeah, it's in a vacation in Spain. I think I, I, I took a photo of myself and then I did a drawing of it later. Were you on tour in Spain? No, I was with a, with a girlfriend at that time. Yeah, so. Nice. And she, but she didn't take the picture. Is that a no, selfie? I, it's a selfie? Yeah, I, I just think yeah. I set it on the table. Oh, okay. Not, not with a phone. Not, not no, a phone. No, no, okay, was, okay, no it's okay. just, this is before that. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what, year is this, what, is, what year is this? Well, did the, the drawing come the same? And is, is the drawing from the same time, or did you yeah, do the drawing from the more same recently? Time. This, oh, yeah, this is an old one. Yeah. Okay, so you've shown your art around, though. You're not. You're not like this. It's not like we're just. There's, this is well, no I did discovery that. Here. I did that show at Cornelius. It was just my drawings. Lori asked me to do a show, so I said okay. Lori Steelink. Right. Yeah. And she came over to see me. I said my place is kind of messy, you know. She goes, "That's okay. I'm not disturbed by that." So she came over to look at it, and she just seen all the stuff I had and. She turned that into part of the show, all this, we kind of moved some of my things from my space into the gallery. Oh, cool. Or her space there and turned it into a, a project like that with drawings and all these objects. And Have all you ever that. curated a show? No, not no. myself. No. You, do, you, do you think when you like put together an album, is that like curating or though? Are you curating the album? Yeah, that's kind of like yeah. that. So I could, uh, yeah. you could probably curate a yeah, show, Yeah, I think right? I, yeah. Right. Well, hey, I LA. 
Boy, the hint just dropped. Okay. What? Oh. So, <laughs> so well, let's move on because you brought you brought. Uh, you know, All right, I, I, sure I may have brought too much stuff. No, 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 no. I, don't, I don't think it's too much. What is this another drawing? Yeah, that's with a, it's more of a painting, I guess, it's with acrylic, it's not ink. So it's one of my first attempts at doing that. Someone bought that, by the way, I'm oh, surprised. Yeah? What year is this? That's about two years ago. Oh yeah? Yeah. And is it, is it on paper, on, on canvas? On paper. Oh, on paper? Yeah. Acrylic on paper. Right, yeah. And what's the subject? Um, I don't know. Things start happening, and then uh, you know I did. You're blocking the guy. You're I'm like, blocking you're, myself. You're, you're blocking my own thing. Is that you? No. No, that's not me. It, uh, you know, I started with a photograph or something of a friend combing his dog, but then things started happening when I started to draw it, and I don't know what's going on there. I just started. It was a car accident, and it just sort of you know. Now, did do you, you do you know the uh, artist Carlos Almaraz who painted who, who painted the uh, car crashes? Oh, yeah, I didn't know he did car crashes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so he's got a big show coming up at LACMA in the fall. All right. but, but he did a whole series. He did like, like he has the Echo Park paintings, are beautiful. Uh -huh. He has these pretty violent, but they're very colorful car oh, crashes. Oh, really? They blow your mind. He's, I he's, like, he's yeah. one of the greats. It's kind of yeah. a good subject. I can, I can see that as a kind of inheriting that legacy. Because it is. It's, it's an L.A. thing, right, wouldn't you say? I mean, yeah, there's I car crashes it. worldwide. I see but, them all the time. But, but L.A. is so car heavy that, yeah, you're going to, you know, a lot of car. You ever been in a car crash? Yeah, a few oh, times. God, it's I'm good, good at yeah. I can yeah. crash and yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Okay. and you survive. So, so There's far. There's a so technique good. to it. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. What's the technique? Oh, you kind of turn the car to the side and turn it into a wedge. You know. I, I, I think the trick is to not hit the brake. If you if you're oh. not on the brake, you, when you hit, you you actually kind of go with the energy oh, instead I see. of I instead of resisting of the energy. I, yeah. Yeah. But then I then when it happens, it's like that one eighth of a second where you go ah, you hit the brake and forget it, right? Yeah, you chicken out or something. <laughs> so um, uh -huh. I used to live by a really crazy intersection, and uh, and there was always accidents. Like as a kid, I just saw like accident after accident after accident. This what, what is it? About? Then they finally put a green arrow in, and now it's not as many accidents. Oh, so, have yeah. you seen a lot? Well, I, my job is I drive around the city delivering art. I'm an art handler. So. Oh man, the stories you, you must have. Around. I've seen you around. Yeah, I've been to your place delivering art. Yeah, <laughs> he's he's we paid but, him to schlep. Yeah, so, right. So, so I see car crashes and all kinds of stuff. Because you're you're always on the road. Yeah, and I take photographs every day, snapshots I call them. I have thousands of images of the oh, city. Yeah? yeah, I just take every day. Do you stuff. have enough images that you can go back and go, oh, the, this was before this was a Starbucks. I have a photo of the, of the yeah, business it was too, before yeah. the Starbucks. Yeah, yeah what, what a corner might look like before it changes. Great, great documentation. You know, kind of thing, cool. yeah. Well, let's, let's, let's keep moving because you've got a lot of interesting art and, and a variety here too. What, who's, who's she? Uh -uh. Headless, okay, okay that's, let's hear it. Well, that, someone wanted me to do a piece for a show and I was, I had to turn it in like in a day or something, a day and a half. Oh no. <laughs> so. I was in Amsterdam, and uh, they said, when you get get back, you you better hand that artwork in. I said, okay. So a, a lady I knew let me use her studio, so I stayed up all night. It was like 24 hours, and I just did that. Wow. It's ink and brush. It's, I, you know, I just, just we, started drawing. Any you know? comment on what you might have been under the influence of? Uh, just whiskey, I think. Yeah, just whiskey? Yeah. <laughs> Amsterdam's See not, what whiskey does to a person? Oh, is is, is Amsterdam terrible. really known for its whiskey? Well, they import no, everything. It's, it's a just, seaport, so you're going to get all the. Yeah, there's anything. You're there, going to get yeah. the best. Uh, what's your favorite whiskey? Uh, Glen Livet. Glen Livet. Oh, scotch. Yeah, okay, scotch. So scotch whiskey. Yeah, right. Okay, okay. I shouldn't drop any not brands. A, what? Scotch. Yes. Yeah, just scotch. Oh, you, <laughs> yeah, you're not getting paid to endorse him. <laughs> but if anybody wants to pay him to endorse a whiskey. Then, yeah. <laughs> okay, if just I, making you know. sure. He's ready to go, folks. So, um, and, and this is just ink on paper? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, how big? Uh, it must be like. 20 by uh, 18 by and 20. Did you just roll it up and take it on the plane and on yeah, from Amsterdam I, to the U.S.? I think so. I think yeah. I did have to roll that up. And no, you didn't have to declare it with customs or anything? No, they didn't yeah. know what I had. I just <laughs> took it with me. So, so are those so donuts a, uh, floating in the river? Yeah, I think they are. They could yeah. be. Could be? Okay. Said, yeah. and, and what year was this? Oh, I don't remember now. Um, I mean, is it, oh, the 90s. Okay, yeah, so maybe a little two, older. The, 2000 or something like that. So you were you were doing a lot of travel in Europe. Uh, yeah. Back then. Yeah. Yeah. Was, not as much travel now. Not so much now, but I'm going back again in September to do a series of shows solo, like I was. Oh like, really? Solo guitar yeah, shows. Yeah. With, right. with, uh, with just as Joe Biza. Yeah, just myself in wow. Germany. So, in Germany. Yeah. Wow. So the Germans like you. I, I hope so. <laughs> we'll find out. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. So um, now. 
you've got, do we have more art? I just want to, I think there's, there's some other smaller. things. I think there's I five or six. There's a series I did, those things. Oh, what, what's this? There's, yeah, that's, there's a few of them. That's one of them. Well, it, when it, I had the show at Laurie's, pla at Laurie's place at Cornelius, there were these, uh, I was showing some of those photos in a special little room they have there, and, but there were windows above, so she said she was going to cover them with paper. But then she said, why don't you do drawings on the paper? So she measured it, and there were six windows, so she just put the paper, pinned it up on the wall, and oh. I did that in a couple days, all six of those. Okay, is that like just acrylic paint? Ink? I think so. She just, that's paint. Yeah, I don't know what it was. She just gave you some stuff here. Yeah, here, the oh, okay. brush was even kind of messed up. Wow. So, so like, here's this messed up brush and some paint. Collaboration between dealer. Right. So she's left me alone there. And I just, for a couple of days, and I finished all six of them. Awesome. Awesome. So awesome. that's what those are. So, so walk us through really quick your, your discography, your discography. Uh, you were the founder of Saccharin Trust. Yeah, me, myself, and, and Jack Brewer. And uh, what came after Saccharin Trust? I had Universal Congress of, my punk jazz band. And that I was, uh, by then we're talking like the late 80s? Yeah, 87 or something. Okay, and then what came after that? Uh, then uh, I think Mechalodiacs. Oh, after that, wow. Yeah. Jeez, you're, you're bringing back some memories. Yeah. And then uh, other little projects. And, uh, I forget now. <laughs> It's all kind of little. It all blurs into a guitar yeah, solo there. Yeah, right, right. Exactly. It's just sort of you know. All right. Well, I'm always um, doing that. Well, Joe Biza, as as a longtime fan and admirer of yours, uh, thanks for being on Modern Art Thank Blitz. Thank you for having me. Yeah. All right, man, and good luck in Germany. You know, if they like you there, if you can make it there, you can make it almost <laughs> anywhere. Uh, we'll be back right after this. All right. That was great. Man. Thanks so much. All right, man.